welcome everybody to my channel today we are going to be doing sunflowers sunflower no plural no s at the end we are going to do what's called a loose watercolor sunflower which means it's not going to be photo perfect um, but i think it's fun so we're just starting with an egg shaped brown blob <laughs> that's a technical term I uh, we're think of an I mean it's kind of a weird shaped egg like an oval that's tilted that it's on its way falling to its side uh, we're going to just do kind of a chocolatey brown color this is going to be the center of the sunflower and I'm making it wet on wet so I, I did the white the white the wet oval first and then I did the brown over it and now I'm going to be doing the petals and basically what you want to be doing and you can practice this part and it's just they're completely imperfect petals but they're going to be going around the shape of the brown blob <laughs> gonna google really quick what the names of the parts of a flower are so that I can stop saying blob uh, okay I'm googling it and this is not this is not helping me so anyways basically you could practice the the petals first as you can see it's very imperfect and I want to follow the shape of the center part of the flower which is apparently called an ovary is that right it's the ovary the brown blob is the ovary of the flower maybe I don't know <laughs> supple I'm seeing supple I don't know maybe you can help me out <laughs> So I want to kind of follow the shape of that. So if you want to do a really light pencil line around it to guide yourself, uh, then absolutely do that. We're going to go over it with paint. So don't worry about that line showing. Obviously don't press down hard. Just do a really light pencil sketch around that brown just to match the shape of it. And if you feel confident and you want to be able to do it freehand like I am, by all means, go for it. Um, and I'm keeping the petals separated because we're going to create layers of petals because the sunflower has it's not just a single it's not like a it, it doesn't have a single petals around it and I think this is kind of where people go wrong is they just they draw perfect petals around it but there's layers of petals and they're imperfect and part of my petals are touching the brown I'm completely okay with that because we're going to do that anyway in the end I mean obviously don't purposely do it but if it happens like it did on a couple of my petals it's fine it's it's going to look organic it's going to look uh it's going to be it's going to be fine it's going to be okay so right now I uh, I'm so you just want to keep them kind of separated and keep the shape of the the brown kind of as your guide as to how your flower looks hopefully that makes sense and then I'm going to add the underneath layers of the flower so I'm going to do the brown I'm making it brown or you could do like a darker orange or a darker yellow you just want it to be a darker color than your top petals and it's going to create that depth and like I said we're doing what's called a loose watercolor so it's not going to be perfect uh, and I will do if you guys want me to, I'm happy to do uh, one that is more, and I'm blanking on, on the name right now, it's uh, it's basically what I paint 90% of the time and I cannot remember the name of it. But I keep wanting to say photosynthesis, <laughs> which, is, which is fine because that's kind of what flowers do, right? Photosynthesis, so maybe that's what's on my mind. I cannot think of the word. Um, photogenic photographic what is the word I'm looking for anyways I digress so add different and, and as you can see I didn't let the petals dry I didn't re-wet them I'm kind of letting them do their thing 
I'm going with the flow. I'm letting the flowers speak to me. <laughs> not really. I'm just letting the water do its thing. If it's dry, it's dry. If it's not, it's not. Because I want it to be, like I said, it's this loose watercolor. So we're not looking for precise. And I'm going to add different colors of oranges and yellows and burnt umber and browns and amber and all that stuff because um, you, I mean flowers sunflowers are not a perfect yellow sunflower uh, and then I'm gonna do a couple more here and there and now it looks like the petals are just kind of suspended in air from the center ovary I don't know I think that's such a weird thing to call this right now but that's what my Google is, is telling me. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to stick to brown blob. I'm just not comfortable calling this an ovary. I don't care if that's what it's called. It's just doesn't look like an ovary to me. So I'm adding, remember when I was saying we're going to naturally, we're going to add the brown anyways. We want it to bleed in. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm adding the brown to the base i'm doing a little bit more petals underneath it to give it a little bit more depth uh and i'm also going to so here's a, a little bit of a trick so petals have a natural curve some curve more than others and when you have a curve the top of the curve is going to be a lighter color than the base and the tip so just think of like uh, an orange peel, how it curves. And the top of the orange peel is gonna be a lighter color and then the base and the tip are gonna be darker to give it that, that curved appearance. So what you can do is you can take water and you can go around the middle part of the petals to lighten it up and I will do that or you can just add the dark to the tips and the base, which I'm gonna do as well. I want, I'm want i telling you this now because I want you guys to keep this in mind as you're doing the colors. So in the meantime, while this is drying, I'm adding a little bit of green around the, um, almost making like an O inside of the, the brown part. And in the end, and, and I'm not, stressing too much about the green I just want a little bit of it to show I don't really care about green really popping I just want people to be like oh there's a little bit of green there that looks natural then I'm gonna add the stem and then I'm gonna add two leaves to it and the stem I'm just doing a light green and I'm gonna add a little bit of browns and stuff you can go more green if you want to you can do a little bit more brown whatever you want I just kind of kept more of it in between uh, end up being a little bit more brown than I was going for but I just I went I was like okay you you want to have a brown leaf fine you have your brown leaf mr. sunflower sunflower leaves are not perfect they're not perfectly shaped they have kind of a almost a wilted I don't want to say wilted because that's not the right word uh, they're just not a perfectly oval shape so it's kind of, that's what I'm doing here and it goes it gets really dark so here's a trick if you get really dark on your leaves you don't want it to be that dark just dab it with a rag and voila lighter leaf <laughs> so I'm just I wanted the base to have a little bit more green and the tips to have a little bit more green again to give it that natural curvature and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker green right at the base underneath the sunflower because it's a canopy over the stem. stem. So it's gonna create a natural shadow. So I'm adding that and I'm gonna put my second leaf in right now as well. And like I said, I wasn't really happy that the other leaf wanted to be more brown. So I, I forced this one to be a little bit more green. <laughs> So I, I got rid of the brown and, and added the green. And again, not a perfectly shaped leaf, which I think makes it look more realistic. So now if you're looking at this, you're like, oh, it is starting to look like a sunflower. As you can see, it's not a sunflower that's facing straight forward. Uh, it's, it's kind of up, like it's growing from the ground and facing the sun. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the the browns to the base and the tips or like a darker orange like i was talking about 
um, but also I'm going to be adding the, um, kind of blending the petals into, into the ovary. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't, don't get it, don't get it. Um, so then I let the sunflower completely dry and I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself right now, mostly because I just, if you're watching this and then you paint it later, great. But if you're painting along, I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a heads up. So then I let my paint, my sunflower dry. Um, I'm making it a little bit darker around the edges because that, that thing in the middle is also curved and then I'm adding I'm blending in the bottom just so it doesn't look so separated so I'm adding a little bit of darkness to it so just kind of playing with it around with it just to fill it up a little bit so whether you want to do that with some oranges or yellows a little bit of everything you just want to fill it up a little bit because I don't have that gap in between the petals and the brown blob so now I'm adding that water in the middle of my petals to kind of lift the color a little bit um, Dr. P.H. Martin, which is the colors I, watercolors I use, is not forgiving in the sense. So if you're using a palette watercolor, most likely if you do this water trick I'm doing right now, you'll probably get more lift than I am. And I'm, as you can see, I'm just doing it in the middle of the petals because I'm just trying to lift the color a little bit to make it look like it's more curved. And then I add the darkness to the tips and the base. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, hopefully by watching it, it makes sense. <laughs> because uh, I, that's the whole point of this video, right? <laughs> For it to make sense. So I lifted a little bit. And like I said, it's not a forgiving paint. So it didn't lift too much. But you can see a little bit of the lightness. Uh, and in the end, when it dries, it does make it, it does definitely give it a little bit more curvature. So I don't know if you guys can see that right now. You can see a little bit on the on the ends it's a little bit darker than the middle part which is what i was going for so now i'm adding a little bit of the darker oranges and browns to the tips to give it more of that curve um, the more dark you put the ends in the base and the lighter you make the middle the more curved it's going to look so it depends on what you're going for if you want a little bit more flat of the sunflower then don't do it so much if you want it to have a more of the curve then you know then do a little bit more and I'm kind of now adding just a little bit more orange to it because I just felt like this was a little bit too brownish and too yellow and uh, I just wanted to have a little bit more orange to the sunflower it's a personal preference and if you want to do that you can if you if you like the color it's coming out then obviously keep it and if you're not sure my advice as always is to step away and then come back to it later. And usually those fresh eyes will give you the answer that you need on whether you should keep going or not. So I'm adding a little bit of details because flowers have a little bit of grooves in them. Uh, and I'm just doing a little, little bit here and there, not too much. Like I said, this is loose watercolor, so I'm not trying to go too detailed on everything. And just trying to um, now I'm taking a look at it to see what I like and now I'm going to let the sunflower dry Completely and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add the very finishing touch which is gonna make this whole thing pop so I have black and I'm gonna add the filaments to the edges of the oval um, And all I'm doing is taking black and dabbing it on to the dried piece and it's just gonna give it um, those little the filaments that are sticking up from the inside so how much you do on here is completely up to you you can go all out add a whole bunch um, I kind of do something in the middle not too little not too much and also it just gives it a little bit more depth when you do that of course and then I'm gonna and then the inside of the center of the sunflower also has a really dark center so I'm going to also take the black and add a little bit of a dark center, but a little bit watered down. I don't want it to be like, boof, black. So it's a little bit watered down in the middle and I'm gonna just do kind of a really rough uh, oval in the middle, not perfect, uh, just to keep it 
a little bit more natural looking and just keep going until you get it to the point that you like and voila you have your sunflower it is really that simple um, and like I said I'll do a more detailed one if you guys want me to and um, otherwise hopefully this helps this was by request and if you guys have any special requests on any tutorials you want me to do send me an email at tinawilliamsart at gmail.com otherwise if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel have a wonderful artisan day